Call the Sea Crashing Waves. Call the Sea is a first person adventure puzzle game where you play as Nora, who sets out to find her boo Henry on an island and uncover the secrets of an illness she has. And overall, the story is the best part of this five and a half hour long journey. On top of that, the puzzles are just challenging enough to feel like a little enough of a nuisance to kind of be enjoyable to solve. And the world in its art style is so vibrant and pretty. Great environment, great story, decent puzzles. But the problems come with this game's pacing and overall performance. Let's pretend everything ran smooth. Call of the Sea gameplay wise just never gives you a break to let you stop and smell the roses. Or in this case, the ocean. You're constantly trying to solve the chapter's bigger puzzle to open a gate and progress. You're thrown into an area. Figure out how you have to arrange things to unlock a door just to do it again. It's non-stop. I get it's a puzzle game, but still. Spread it out a bit. Give me a brain break. Otherwise, I feel overwhelmed trying to get through your game. But Call of the Sea's biggest issue other than pacing is its performance. I've never played such an unstable game in my life. I tested across multiple high-end gaming PCs with Xbox Game Pass. I had issues with crashing going into chapters 2 and 6. I eventually got chapter 2 to work, but I only got to see the beginning moments of chapter 6. Call of the Sea just refuses to load, leading me to have to watch the remaining 40 minutes on YouTube to get the game's ending. And the issue isn't exclusive to what is admitted a beta system in Xbox Game Pass for PC. After looking into it, there are reports on Call of the Sea causing console crashes as well. There was also a bug where I would be shown a giant white blob where cinematics were supposed to be shown throughout the entire game. If you can get through Call of the Sea, this is a really interesting and pretty straightforward puzzle game. Don't do it through Xbox Game Pass for PC. It probably won't work. I give Call of the Sea a 7.5 out of 10. If you've played Call of the Sea, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Gaming. Thanks for watching, of course. Stay beautiful. I haven't sung since I got sick, but let's give it a shot. If you thought that video was good, ha, you should probably watch this video, the very video that's on your screen right now that YouTube hand selected for you out of all my thousands of videos. This is the one that it wants you to watch next and make sure you're subscribed because I'm not a genius or anything, but I'm pretty sure you get 42 years of bad luck if you made it this far into my video and you're not subscribed. You don't have to subscribe. I'm just looking out for you. I'm just looking out for your luck and your life.